everybody, and welcome to another episode of CommuniCraft. Today, I have the great D.W. Chan Jr. on the line with me. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yes, and today, he's working on the map building over here, which we had to expand recently due to a small little mistake in the maps. Small? Basically, Are you talking about the thing that took us an hour to put together? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you're, re -expand you're expanding it again after that because you yeah. accidentally went north instead of uh, west. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to expand the map a little bit further. But uh, so far it looks freaking awesome. It's going to look amazing when it's like filled in. Of course, that takes up a lot of iron, and now I have a cat on my lap. What the crap? Come on, cat. I'm recording. Thank you. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, so it's gonna look awesome when it's filled in. Teleport but that faster, takes teleport a lot faster, of iron. Oh God. What? Um, I, I was teleporting out of the um, out of the fortress, and there was a, cre a creeper that just like popped up in front of me, <laughs> and I was trying to tell, and I walked into the portal and like teleport faster, teleport faster, like got really close. I heard, oh, uh, and then I didn't hear nothing else after that. So I was like, oh, <sighs> would that be? Here or there? Uh, in the it was yeah it would be there. In the stronghold. That, yeah. Okay. Hopefully it's away. It it's away from it. the. Nah, it's away from it. It's well away. Okay. I'm coming back to spawn now though. All right. Anyway, so let's go over a little bit of what I've done and get everybody caught up. Uh, I've been working a little bit on the bank. I actually recorded this yesterday and then went. Eh, nope, I didn't like it. So I'm dumping it basically and going on with the next episode. Just. So I'm gonna catch everybody up. Uh, I got a walkway up to the top, and I've got a porch kind of area and a railing. Hey, uh, Croner, do you have any dirt on you? I have four blocks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to your chest I go then. Yeah, my my chest is downstairs. Dog is barking. It's... I don't have much in the way of dirt there either. I'm gonna have to make a mountain disappear here soon. Yeah. All right, so anyways, that's that's what I did on the bank. Basically, not a lot. Uh, what else I did, though, and I did this completely off camera, was I built a blacksmith-type area, and there's double D on top of your hospital here. But I built a blacksmith area, and uh, I kind of really wanted to do this because I had this idea a little while ago wait, watching West try to cook uh, nether rack in the, for in the nether. Basically, what you do is you take whatever's cookable, throw it in this input chest here. I don't have enough stuff that's cookable. But you throw it in the input chest there, and then you wait, and then it comes out the output chest here. And it runs about four times as fast as a normal furnace because there are four furnaces going. I can show you how I, or what it is, which is actually pretty awesome how I built this thing. It took me a long time to figure out how to do this. I did not look up how to make this. I made it myself, except for that part. The elevator, uh, the elevator I didn't make, but for the record, it's the only part that doesn't work 100% of the time. <laughs> hmm. Of course, I'm not 100% sure why this works, but whatever. Uh, anyways, the fuel, which is like coal or charcoal, there's a chest up above these hoppers here pulls everything down here and into this neat little contraption here and then this layer here which splits it into two and then evenly distributes it across the two furnaces here and then there's another set over here which does the exact same thing and then there's another set of hoppers that goes into the top of the furnaces which evenly distributes what's being cooked and then everything comes out and goes off in this direction except for this furnace right here, this furnace right here is special because its hopper goes down and splits everything off into two. And then one side, get out of my payment chest. Okay, anyways, uh, so one side is my payment chest and the other side just goes off into the elevator and goes up into the output chest. Hmm. Anyways, um, so anyways, that's how I get my payment for the smithy. I get one eighth of what is cooked. So if you throw one stack of, say, iron in the smithy, I get eight, eight bars of iron. I think that's a pretty fair trade. It is fair, yes. All right, but that's what I did. I made the smithy, and I think it's pretty awesome. 
So the smithy is open for business. Anybody who needs to cook thing, lots and lots of things quickly, party on, man. I used to have a donation chest for payments, but, you know, I figured, why not just make it completely simple? Direct, everything's taken care of on my side, nobody else has to worry about it. Everything's all good. Mm-hmm. Sounds very, very good, actually. So let's check up on what DW is doing on his building here. I don't know what he's doing on his building here. It looks weird. You'll see. Just hang on. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll come back to that later. Hopefully he'll have enough done that I'll actually have a clue of what he's doing. Double D left. Alright, so let us work on the bank. Alright, the general idea is that out front here, there's going to be some kind of water feature. A waterfall, a fountain, I don't know yet, but some kind of water feature. And I'm going to leave down here, here, for two reasons. One, it's my mine shaft, and two, this is the first bed on this server. And this is actually the first little, like, hidey hole on the server. Hmm. I don't actually know what was there. Yeah. So this is this is just a monument to the beginning of the server. So that's staying, but it's going to be underwater. I'll just put signs here or something like that to keep the water out. So no fury there. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that or what it's going to look like. Interesting. All I right. really don't know. It's kind of hard to figure all this stuff out. And the sun's going down again. But what I do know is that I think I want to expand the lapis blocks to over here a little bit. Yeah, possibly that way, but I need a lot of lapis blocks. Hopefully I have a lot of spare lapis. Oh, and I got a, I got a door cake. Door cake. I believe that's from Turcote, but there's no... Or, Turcote. Turco the new guy, the guy in the white up top side. <laughs> Turcote. Uh... Yeah, he's new to the server. He just arrived yesterday. We had this whole initiation thing. And um, and here comes the newbie, Turcote. And he's already got... Uh, where's my tap? There's my tap. He's got six. He's been on for an hour. He's got six deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Step into the middle, son. Oh, I got my caps lock on. Yes, you... <laughs> Initiation <what>? time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Turcode here is our new guy. He's from Canada. Yay, he's our first guy from Canada, at least as far as I know of. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, you and me are the main YouTuber since Adult left. Yep. Oh, I don't think I ever put that in a video. Adult has left us. He has gone on to better things. Some other server that I don't even remember the name of. Nebulous. That's like a, a YouTube server. Yeah, the Nebulous server is what it's called. Yeah, so he ba he abandoned the community. Oh, well. Bastard. Still my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't talked to him since he did that, though. Yeah, I talked to him earlier this week. He's been busy with finals and stuff. Okay. I'm back. Here, done. <laughs> okay, this is kind of scary. <laughs> uh, we must initiate him with the blood of the dark. Uh, I got one. <laughs> the flesh of dead people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of interesting. Yes, it was. Uh, let's see, I need my lapis blocks. Ooh, I should have enough lapis blocks. Hopefully I don't get blown up by a creeper while I'm building at night. Like what happened yesterday. Yeah, that's one of the things that stopped me from doing the video yesterday is that creepers kept blowing up in my face. How many blew up in your face after I left last night? Um, well, it was just the two. Uh, yeah. That blew up in my face, anyways. There were several that, several others that blew up. Where's my axe? My axe is in here. Yes. It's silk touch, but eh, whatever. I can repair it later. 
And I do that since Double D's working on the Enderfram. Enderfram. Yeah, it's it's, it's its official name now. Enderfram. At least that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> hey, no one ever said you couldn't. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Let's see how this looks. You might have to give me your opinion on this, or DW. Alright. I tell you already, it's crap! I would not be surprised. No. I tend to make crap sometimes. There's balls on your house. <laughs> so, DW right now is actually in the middle of recording an episode. Um, not yet. I'm still cut away from the video at the moment. Just getting right, a little ways in. in the middle of it. You've oh, already yeah, recorded true. the beginning part. Now you're in the middle, waiting till when you actually build that more, and then you're going to be at the end recording. Okay, I get I, 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 I suppose. <laughs> I do that a lot. I confuse the hell out of people. Especially me. <laughs> I'd make a joke, but it wouldn't be nice. <laughs> your intelligence is so low. La la la, your IQ must be like three. I was just going to say that's kind of easy, but... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I would have allowed it. It's all right. <laughs> oh, and in case you're wondering what all this is, uh, right now it's actually partially broken, but it's a zombie trap. Imagine fence there and fence there and then a dirt block there so that you could just hop over the fence and then you leave through here and it traps the zombie in here. And that's how we catch zombie villagers. Hmm. So then we heal them, and then we just, you know, move them to where we need to be. Like, this oh, guy got out. He, he, hmm. they glitched through the fence. Villagers can glitch through fences. Who knew? Hmm. But uh, this is where we trap this guy. And, uh, yeah, now he's a monument to what not to be for a villager. He has very bad traits. Hmm. Then there's this guy. He's our butcher. So we threw him in the clock and egg. He actually has some pretty decent trades. Coal for emeralds. Emerald for steak. Raw beef for emeralds. Uh, we still haven't unlocked all of them yet. I don't have four emeralds right now. But working on it slowly. Just not that worried about it. So I just started building. And I kept building. And I wasn't saying anything. And I just kind of stopped recording because, well, you know, I was just in one of those moods. The moods where you just got to build. And this is what I built. Um, I like it so far. It's kind of nice. It's got this whole pretty vibe going on with it. I do like it a lot. Um, I've got to do something about back there. I'm not sure what yet, but I've got to do something. Um, obviously, this ain't anywhere near finished yet. But, general idea is that in here, I've decided that in the center, front and center, is going to be the vault. So, big giant vault, and then here, going up each side, are going to be two sets of stairs. Obviously, one going up that way, one going up that way. Around the vault. So, you'll be able to walk into the vault here, and then, like I said, you'll be able to go upstairs up there. And upstairs will be a bunch of, like, offices, kind of-ish. But over here and over there are going to be tellers. So, yeah. And now everybody's gone. <laughs> yep, everybody left. Well, uh, eh, we were all busy working. And, well, it's just a slow period on the server now. So, yeah, that's what I got so far. I'm definitely open to suggestions. But I think it looks good so far. I want to put something up there. But I don't know what... Um, and I'm not 100% sure how I would either. So, yeah. Uh, this is what DW did for the map house. Looks pretty. Uh, I think it might be a little too tall. But that might just be my personal preference. And you can see it from here. You can see the whole thing. I like it. We just gotta finish the map. Oh, that's gonna take forever. Ugh. So, yeah, there is that. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits for this episode. I'm kind of tired. Uh, 
apparently I can't talk right now. I keep going, um, and that's never good for videos. So I'm going to call it quits for today, and I'm going to say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game, and have fun. Mm -hmm.